everyone, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look at another new, um, newly released Oracle deck. It's called Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle Deck by Amanda Lovelace. Artwork by uh, Jan Janina Medeiros. I hope I pronounced her name correctly. It's in a hard case box. Here's the side. There's the thumb hole cut out. Here's the back. It's published by Andrews McMeal Publishing. Here's the other side. Here's the top, bottom. All right. Opens up. It's just white inner lining, inside lining. And the cards are on top. Guidebook is at the bottom. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, no. There's a... Is it a piece of paper? No. Huh. So the bottom of the box, the inner lining is black but the top is white i thought it was a piece of um paper maybe that got stuck but i think that's the lining oh no it is okay so there is a piece of paper it's just stuck. so they have the nice little touch white paper okay there is both black inner i thought that was different if it was all right let me just put the white lining back in all right So, here are the back of the cards. Of course, they're not reversible. Pretty crown there. And they look kind of large. Let's see. So, compare, comparing to a Hay House card, yes, it's larger. So, it's that much taller and that much wider. So, they are large, large cards. All right. So, we'll take a look at the cards and then we'll look at the guidebook at the end the feel is matte it feels like there is a little coating on it you can see the sheen it is not gilded it is borderless and the cards are number numbers top left corner it has keyword and then a key phrase so card one princess you can be your own knight evil queen you deserve sugar not salt Tower, unplug and relax for a spell. Mirror, treat your body like the palace it is. Stars, you can manifest your energy. I'm sorry, stars, you can manifest your every wish. Dragons, to slay them all. Sword, make the change wings you never needed those wings to fly phoenix how's that for a happily ever after red forgive sun paint the sun back into your sky expectations don't seek anyone's approval lioness you've earned all your stripes Thorns, weave together the crown you deserve. Garden, something lovely will grow from this. Bitch fire, stand up for yourself. I had to read that twice. I couldn't believe it was on the card when I was uh, looking through it when I first opened the box. Okay, flower, be honest with yourself. Tree, let them go. Lavender, surround yourself with love. Lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. I am always enough is what it says on that plaque. Clover, release your guilt. Library, take control of your own narrative. Confidence, it comes with time and practice. Potion, remember to practice self-love. Mural, mural, be your own first priority. Feather, think first before you judge. Witch, justice is coming. Protest, start a revolution. Feast, slow down and celebrate yourself. Castle, it's time for healing, not war. 
universe, we're all just stardust. Escapists, come home to yourself. Nostalgia, focus on the here and now. Voyage, you already have all the answers. Shark, swim away from this situation. Goal, you don't need someone else to fix you. Gray, endings are inevitable. Villain, you can always re rewrite the story. Raindrops, take a chance on them. Morning, the world awaits you. Sundress, do it for you. Homeward, take yourself out on a date. Spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. Storm, every hurricane comes to an end. Throne, your potential is endless. All right, and here are the backs one more time for a second look. Let's take a look at the guidebook. Believe in your own magic. Introduction. She has a section here. What's the difference between tarot cards and oracle cards? How do I use this deck? Why no reverse meanings? Can I ask the deck any question I want? This may be a nice net deck for a beginner. What other questions do you suggest I ask this deck? Princess cards. And then there's a black and white picture of the card. And then about a paragraph worth on each card. Which cards? Oh, so there's a section. There's two sections. Okay, so there's a section on Prince's cards. I guess that's all the nice cards. And then there's a section on which cards. So from cards 1 through 15 are under the Prince's section. And then 16 onwards is consider which cards. That's why they have a bitch fire in there, I'm assuming. Oh, and then there's a third section, mermaid cards, which are all um, watery, I'm assuming. I didn't even realize the cards were broken into three sections. So there's a princess, a witch, and mermaid section about the artist at the end. And that's it. 48 pages total. All right, let's see how they shuffle. Let's do it this way first. That way's fine. Because they're a little taller than the regular Oracle cards, they're a little hard for petite hands. Um, I have my. I have to stretch, but they're bendable, so you can kind of bend them a little bit, so. And then let's try this way. See, so they're bendable, so you have to stretch, but at least they bend, so you can bend them. Oh, I got stuck. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, and they will refill shuffle. All right, so that it's a quick flip through of the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle cards. Hope you guys enjoy that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye.